Okay, I'm not going to play an Endem's video here. Uh, I'll, I'll give a link <laughs> down there and uh, yeah, because this would go on forever. Um, so, I'm just going to assume that you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, then you are not going to know what I'm talking about most of the time. So, with that said, F. In order to hold on to and justify your belief, you are reduced to maybes and possibilities, to the point of absurdity where you speculate that every atom or quark, or however far you want to take it, is an individual with a unique personality, thus defying a century's worth of atomic theory, then yes, you are promulgating religious faith. There's not a dime's worth of difference between such desperate nonsense and anything the creation has come up with in terms of scientific knowledge or integrity. One commenter on your video wrote, I quote, I also think that every atom is distinct, like snowflakes. I also think, with our current technological level, we cannot adequately measure the differences. We experience irregularities, but we simply say those are quantum effects and yield uncertainty principle, revealing that he or she knows nothing about the uncertainty principle. Just for the heck of it, why don't you try and explain the observed behavior of a hunk of pure iron, with or without the usual isotope mix, I only insist there not be an unusual isotope mix, in a universe where every fundamental particle which is now a misnomer, by the way, has its own character and personality. Then when you're done with that, try to get a deterministic universe out of it. He says, I can't isolate any of his dogma, and then he proceeds to enumerate the dogma. <laughs> Consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, addiction, unintelligent design. If you're going to say that life is futile and a waste, then the reasonable inference is that all life sucks, from which it can be inferred that any individual's life sucks, to put it in a nutshell. I did not say that Amendum ever specifically said that anyone should kill themselves, though he's certainly come close at times. I didn't even say that he personally believes that anyone should. Where did I say, and I quote? No, I said the bottom line was that people should just off themselves, that that is a reasonable way to interpret the message. When he says, no, I think people should party like it's 1999, do drugs at all, is that not implicit advice to kill themselves? I'd say so. Anyway, you be the judge and listen to this. To me, this sounds very close to wishing everyone would just kill themselves. Where's the evidence of this misery? Where the fuck is it? The only thing that makes me miserable is assholes. If you fucking assholes were not on this planet, I would be incredibly comfortable. Of course, Amendum always finds a way to weasel out. I've been watching him for more than two years now. I've been quiet all this time. Made myself pretty cognizant of exactly where he's coming from. And this is what I've seen. If you don't quote him directly, he'll say you're misrepresenting him. If you do quote him, he'll say you were just quote mining him. He has a gazillion videos up. And at some point he's bound to have said just about anything you'd imagine. So if you do quote him, he can just quote mine himself back at you. Now, skipping a bunch of stuff and getting to the end. And Menem just misses my point. He skips almost at random between possible, probable, evidence, and proof as if they were all of equal value, or not, depending on the case he's trying to make. But my fundamental issue here is with the taking of a possible, asserting that it's a probable, and then using this probable as the premise for a chain of logic from which a philosophy is derived, and then presenting that chain of derived philosophy as a gospel with no alternatives. I'm sorry, that is religion.